Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh and well, this Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has been my daily driver for the last one month and I want to share with you my experience with this phone. This video is going to be the most honest review on this smartphone. Before S9 Plus, OnePlus 5T was my daily driver and of course, 5T is a really capable smartphone with half the price tag but except for the processing power, everything else is more premium, more rich on this Samsung flagship except for the battery which is the most frustrating thing on this S9 Plus which is a big downgrade for me. On 5T I used to get around 1.5 days to up to 2 days on normal to heavy usage but on this Samsung device I am not getting a full day's backup I mean sometimes the battery runs out even before dusk. So it's such a big issue for me since I am a heavy user, I sometimes carry my 5T with me if S9 Plus's battery runs out. What's most frustrating is that the battery drains even when the phone is in standby, it loses considerable amount of battery juice overnight, it's always warm or hot and apparently there are lots of features, lots of add-ons are enabled by default so I have disabled most of them but still the battery performance did not improve that much and uh, at night most of the phones remain idle but this phone is always active. Power saving modes are not as effective as before and I want to mention that I have set the maximum resolution for the display that is the Quad HD Plus resolution. I mean I am paying 65,000 rupees why settle for FHD Plus right? Always on display it's up more battery than I thought. So this S9 Plus packs so many software features which I have shown you in my tips and tricks videos. If you want to apply some of them in your day to day life then you have to sacrifice the battery life. S8 Plus and also S7 Edge had much better battery life so this is a big downgrade for Samsung. In addition to this, the adaptive fast charger of Samsung is not even close to dash charger, it's really really slow, there is no magic of dash charger, so looks like since Note 7 fiasco, Samsung is really cautious about their battery. So this is my prime complaint, there are few more I want to share with you guys. For incoming WhatsApp or Messenger calls, it does not show up full screen, just a small strip at the top and sometimes the phone does not even ring or show anything, sometimes it's just the ringtone without the small notification strip and uh, you have to unlock the phone to answer the call. I don't know if there is any option to disable this thing, if you guys know, please comment and let me know. Sometimes on the dialer, calls does not go through, after trying 3 or 4 times it responds like 10 or 15 seconds later and also there is no separate favorite contacts tab unlike stock android so I have to swipe to contacts but you cannot swipe since it will open the messaging option so I have disabled this swipe to call or swipe to message option to go to my favorite contacts. So this kind of bothers me, I hope that Samsung will add the favorite contacts tab. I have added some of the favorite contacts to people age, so this might solve the issue. Now the camera on S9 Plus is one of the best in the market of course, but I want to criticize the color science of Samsung. Before OnePlus 5T, Google Pixel was my phone and I am still in love with its camera. Samsung makes images, especially selfies, brighter, glowing without much contrast, losing the actual color or actual texture of the skin. Of course, the images look amazingly good, but I prefer a camera which can produce true color and the actual skin tone, the texture of the face so though it's an amazing camera on this S9 Plus, I prefer the camera of my Pixel and it's just my personal preference you can of course disagree. All these issues I'm talking about are really minor problems you can live with this. Now the design of this S9 Plus is the most exciting factor, the curved edges look really awesome but the back is kind of pale, it's not as glossy or as shiny as S8 or Note 8, it's different from before, there is no more glare, just a reflective glass but from certain angles the glass looks good but still I prefer the old glass back. I think Samsung did this to minimize the fingerprints. 
Now about the Bixby button, I used to press this by mistake when I'm trying to access the volume rocker, but now I have got used to this and it's not an issue anymore. In fact, I really like this Bixby key. I never used an AI assistant as much as Bixby before. It works when the screen is off and also without any error. I got used to this Bixby so much I use it at least 5 times a day. Now there is still no Android 8.1 for S9 Plus. I hope that Samsung will roll out the update anytime soon and though there is almost no bug on this S9 Plus, in fact OnePlus 5T and also Pixel were infected with bugs. There is a serious issue I am facing at least once a day. The fingerprint scanner does not work sometimes when the screen is off. So if I turn the screen on, it works and then it shows on the screen, the scanner is not clean. This did not happen to any smartphone I have ever used. The scanner was clean, so there is definitely something wrong with the software. Now sometimes Wi-Fi does not work, it pauses or it becomes very very slow, it lags. But still it's not a big issue after the recent update, this has been fixed I think. Now as you can see guys, I have downloaded and activated some of the core Samsung features. I don't know why Samsung Music or Samsung Video Players are not downloaded into the S9 Plus by default. Samsung Music is really capable with lots of features and effects as you can see. So you can download this from Samsung Galaxy App Store. In addition to this, there are some hidden features in your S9 Plus like link sharing or reminders which are not in the apps drawer. You have to first enable these options then there will be a pop up to add the icons to the apps drawer or the home screen. For example, when you are trying to share a content, you will get the options for link sharing or reminder. So only then you can add these options to your home screen. These options are not shown to you by default. So if you don't know this trick, you might be missing out these awesome features of S9+. Plus. Now at the start of this video, I have mentioned that there are some features on S9 Plus that are on by default which are eating up battery so you have to look for those options and disable if you really don't need them. Now I did a RAM management comparison in between S9 and S9 Plus. Apparently S9 with just 4GB of RAM suffers from low RAM when you open multiple applications. So the phone becomes slightly slow and also S9 cannot hold more than 5 or 6 big apps and games. So prefer S9 Plus over S9. Guys, we are at the end of this video and I know that most of the issues I talked about today are really minor problems. You can ignore them. But of course, battery is a big issue on S9 Plus. Other than that, S9 Plus is the best phone you can buy right now. What I like is it feels very very premium, it looks stunning, worth the price I paid for. Anybody can tell it's a pricey smartphone and I'm really happy with this Samsung flagship. It's the best a smartphone can be. That's all for now guys, thanks a lot for watching, I hope that this video was helpful. Comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch. This is Shukesh signing off, have a nice day.